This episode is very short. That's either a good thing or a bad thing. So let's just keep this brief and start watching the 215th episode of the old web series. See you at the end of this video. I'm the fanfic critic. I read it. You listen. We are reading another Pokemon fanfic called A Queen of Snow by Make a Song. This is a one-shot poem. So it's a fanfiction, but it's a poem. Seeing it's on fanfiction.net, I guess I have to read it. It's only like 423 words. It's rated Fiction K+, it's in English, it's Drama Poetry, it's Glaceon slash Glacia. It has three reviews, three faves, one follows, and it was published back in February of 2011. This is going to be a very short episode. Okay then. The Snow in the Mirror. Glaceon was a Pokemon and looked like a Snow Queen. She spent her days on Route 217. She would hide covered with snow. An interesting creature as they go. The weather is cool and rapturous, so easy for the blizzard to pick, pick up and capture us. My coat, a tinted blue, was a tribute to my name. My sparkling tail, a essence of my fame. It should say an, not a. You use the word an if the word after begins with a vowel. You use the word a if the word after begins with a consonant. Basic stuff you were taught in grammar school. The other admire my sleek figure, and jealousy abounds like a fearful trigger. And you spelled jealousy wrong. The, the silent path, the cool dawn, yet nothing to do but think and yawn. The trees and clusters abundant with creatures, but none with my attractive features. For some, the cold is painful and dreary, but with a coat like mine, who can be weary? The people who come in search for the best never take the time to stop and rest. For I am right in front of them, teasing them through hidden eyes. The search I see is something they despise. And you spell despise wrong. Really? Is it, it, Do people, like, ignore the little red squiggly line when they're writing these things? I mean, I'm... I'm, I know that not everyone has Microsoft Word, but I know a lot of these word editing processors do highlight typos. And once I know it is safe, I reveal myself to the world. I'm a blossom of ice, a legend unfurled. The creatures of the day don't know me that well, but the creatures of the night fall under my spell. I'm a seasoned creature. I know my main goal, and my beauty is transmitted through an ice-stained soul. I wander the paths that I know all too well. The leading fading moonlight brings me out of my shell. Fine day, fine life, precious few creatures squawk, yet if they ever do, it's a mumbled sort of talk. As I make it to the town, quiet and lifeless, my mind is still, I won't digress. Not a person in sight, hmm, isn't this trite? With a faint fog succumbs to the disappearing light. Or the disappearing night. As I approach the red building, the widow of the, the widow of frozen glass, I rub it well with my paw. 
with my paw a small mass. As I peer into the building very spiritually, I see a lone nurse staring right back at me. I stand there for moments, what marvelous moments she stares, tearing. I slowly back away into the fog that had interrupted as I nod and turn into the night I had strutted. Though I reveal myself rarely, it's a sight to behold. I am a diamond studded necklace. I am silver and gold. I dart to my cave after showing my glow. I'm an interesting creature as they go. Author's note. Review, 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 review. Okay, this is my review. I do not like your poem. The rhythm of it was a little eh. I know I'm not the best at poetry and stuff, but it was a little clunky to read, and the typos was really annoying, and some of the lines did not even rhyme with each other. I mean, maybe it was supposed to be like that, but I don't know. I mean, it was okay. It was a little too long, but, you know, I, I wasn't a big fan of it. Maybe you Pokemon fans like it. I mean, I'm a Pokemon fan, too. But you know what I mean. Maybe those who like Glaceon like it. I don't know. There's really not much I can really say. I just wasn't particularly fond of it. In my opinion, this was a waste of time to do an episode on. In the future, guys, do not send poems in for me to review. Send an actual story. Please and thank you. Because I'm the fanfic critic, not the poem critic. Well, like I said before, I'm the fanfic critic. I read it. You listen. Uh. On to the next episode. Next time. Yes, I don't review poetry on my web series either. The creator made that very clear because we were sent a poetry story that involved a school shooting. And it was to the point that the creator literally, literally took me over. Like, completely broke character. Like, it was still my body, but it was hair. And, I, and it made, like, the room all weirdly black and white. And she's like, yeah, no, 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 we're not doing, we're not doing poetry. And um, I can say that on the old web series, some people sent poems. I think this was, like, the first poem. And I do agree with Meg. I didn't quite fancy it either. It was just kind of silly. It's like, people... Don't post poetry as fan fiction. It's not fan fiction. It is not fan fiction. Don't post it as a fanfic because it's not. Just don't. It's a waste of time. Especially seeing the poem itself was not really that good. Yes, sorry that this episode was rather lackluster. I mean, even Meg in the video said it was lackluster. And I definitely agree with her. Right, um, so I'll see you in the next lost episode of Fanfic Critic. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like and leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would greatly appreciate it. See you all next time. Until then, cheerio.